everybody. Welcome to Eat More Vegans. If you've been here before, you know my best friend Mark. If not, my best friend Mark. <laughs> so let me tell you why I invited Mark over. We've had a bunch of people that have, uh, I don't know, got over their skis maybe and asked me to look at their products, which is kind of a surprise after what I had to say about the Kamado Joe Connected Joe, which was not... You were uh, slightly candid. I was candid, right? And that's who I am. Like, I can't be bought, right? So these guys reached out and said, hey, we got a new machine coming out. When you see this video, it's gonna be live on Kickstarter, and I'll put a link down at the bottom. They said, we got a machine that can make a steak better than you. I thought you were making fries in this. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, I said, a steak we're gonna make this? a steak in this thing. So Where does the charcoal go? Yeah, right, there's no charcoal. So they said a machine can make a steak better than me. And I said, A, if you want your product on my show, you, you gotta pay a couple of bucks. And B, the couple of bucks doesn't buy my opinion. I'm gonna be honest, right, as you guys know. So you gotta pay before I do the evaluation. And I'm gonna not just do your product, I'm gonna make steaks the way I make steaks and compare. And I'm not gonna be the one that decides I'm gonna get an independent person. I don't know, you're independent, right? You'll tell them the truth, right? I'm independent because that's my favorite cut of right. steak. So, got New York strips. These are, there's not three different New York strips. I bought a whole strip loin and I took the whole thing, I trimmed it up, I cut it into individual steaks. These three were next to each other and then I salted them and dry brined them overnight. So what you see here are three inch and a half thick, completely dry brined, so pre-salted steaks. They should be nice and tender. And uh, these were adjacent to each other in the roast. So there's no, hey, this steak was better than that steak, starting with equal. Two of these steaks I'm gonna make on my Kamado cookers over in Kamado Corner, show you in a minute, and one we're gonna make here in the machine. And Mark's gonna decide which one goes where. You're gonna French fry it. Yeah, so the thing shows up, and as you can see, it looks like an air fryer. And I can't even imagine an air fryer's gonna make a steak as good as mine. So give the smoke taste? I mean, I've been grilling for 45 years. All right. Where's the smoke? Here's my prediction. It's not gonna have any smoke flavor. I'm gonna give these guys credit and say they're gonna get it perfectly cooked. If I say medium rare, it's gonna be perfectly medium rare. They're gonna get it exactly right that way, but I think mine's gonna taste better. This might have an apartment play. Like yeah. when I lived in Jersey, you can't grill. You, this would be handy in the apartment. Right. Or if you don't feel like firing up the grill. I, 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 all right. So you guys make a prediction before we start this thing. Write in the comments right now, you think the machine's gonna beat Al, you think Al's gonna beat the machine, and why? All right, all right, take a minute, do it now. Okay, we're back. All right, so let's get these ready. They've already been salted, so we're gonna put a binder on them and we're gonna put pepper. So three steaks with tallow. Where's your pepper? And, uh, oh, wait till you see this. You haven't seen this yet. This is the pepper cannon here. I'm gonna pull the, but hold on to it. I'll put the bottom off there. The pepper cannon from Man Kitchen. This is the That's best got some pepper. to it. It does. So you wanna pepper this? Yes. All right, I've already got it set up for a medium, uh, medium grain. So nice, hefty coat there. See how much pepper comes out of that? How fast it comes out? And it really is kind of an easy twist. So three equally seasoned steaks. Hey, 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 use your coupon code. Can't take you anywhere. This thing has a thermometer, so it can keep track of its cook, okay? So it's got a temperature probe. So which one of these steaks should we give to the, the machine? Middle the middle we'll one? Let's go in the middle one. All right, so I'm gonna put the temperature probe right in the middle of the steak, right into there. I'm gonna drop the steak into the drawer here. Nick, I don't know if you can see over here with the camera, but this temperature probe attaches actually to the drawer, which is kind of cool. Is there anything else we add to it or we just put the meat in it and the air does the It does the, it does the, it thing. Does the thing, like whatever wow. seasoning you do, that's what they said. You know, so they said, you know, if you want to add butter or whatever, I added tallow, and right? Does water go in the top? Uh, it, supposedly, it's uh, supposed to tell me what to do. So okay. I will program it in a minute. So I got two temperature probes here. One uh, that's going to go into the thermal works that is on the Big Green Egg, and one that's going to go into the Chef's Temp Quad X Pro that's on the Kamado Joe. All right, so over here is uh, Darth Vader, my Big Green Egg. Uh, he's, you can see, doing the brisket for the brisket battle. It looks pretty good, if you guys like brisket. All right, let me push this brisket back and make room. All right, I'm just gonna put the New York strip here. 
All right, let's go put the other one over on the Kamado Joe. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi, my Kamado Joe, Big Joe 2. And uh, see, another good looking brisket. I'll push this one back. We'll put this steak here. We'll plug it into the Quad X Pro. All right, now I can monitor all these steaks. Let's go see if we can get this machine started. All right, so let's power this on. Chef mode, that's what we want, because I'm the chef. Beef, uh, let's see what here. Beef, no, definitely not doing a, a bit of brisket in there. I don't think so. Beef burger, no. Beef short rib, that would be interesting. All right, steak New York strip, okay. And now it says, uh, oh, use the grilling rack. We already got the grilling rack, so that's good. How do I want it? Medium rare, medium rare, yes? Okay. All right, classic flavor or sous vide. No, we're not gonna do sous vide, we're doing classic. All right, so classic flavor, put it in. Water is required. All right, hang on. We got water. It says achieving doneness 24 minutes. So it might be done before I'm done with my reverse sear smoking the steaks, but we'll see. All right, this says it's done. Like I'm not buying it, but let's see. You wanna see what it looks like, Mark? Huh. It's not seared. Oh, you know what? I took the temperature probe through the bottom, so I don't know if it actually reached its temperature. That might be my bad. No, it's not done yet. And that's my fault for putting the temperature probe in wrong and not checking. Will it know? It will not know. Okay, I screwed up and it didn't give it a fair shot. I put the temperature probe in and it was sticking out the bottom and so it thought the steak was done when it's not done. So I'm gonna call this kind of gray color Al's fault. User error. I think Replace it's great user. that you showed some of the mistakes you could honestly make while you cook it. I have another New York strip <laughs> that you can see I labeled that it's already dry brine and I vacuum sealed because I was gonna freeze it, save it for later. It's off the same one. It's the fourth one in the row. So I'm gonna take it out of the vacuum seal. They're gonna think that uh, you made me do it just so you could use the pepper cannon again. We got the probe out of the way. All right, chef mode, beef. Not a brisket. New York strip. Medium rare. Oh, use the tray. Got it. Medium rare. Classic flavor. Water's required. Does it need more water? No, it's got water. We're good. 25 minutes again. All right. While we're waiting for those, should we see what this looks like? It's rare. It doesn't look so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it actually cooked very evenly. I mean, there's no crust on here. I mean, the top and bottom are cooked pretty even. All right, well, I am a good host. Here you go, Nick. Pick which one you want. Thank you, sir. All right. Cheers. Cheers. It's actually a pretty good steak. I mean, it's not done properly. Didn't get a sear on it. It's got a ways to go. Let's go see how the steaks on the smokers <laughs> are going. All right, looks like a smoked steak ready to sear after it rests. It gets the red toothpick. Also looks like a smoked steak. Came off the big green egg. It gets the green toothpick. All right, now I'm just gonna tent these in aluminum foil. Just a light tent. And we're gonna let them rest. All right, the machine's got 19 minutes. The steaks are gonna rest for about 10, so that works out well. So when the machine says it's got 10 minutes left, then we're gonna take these and we're gonna sear them. And I guarantee it's gonna be more fun to sear these than watching this. I mean, we'll see what it tastes like though, right? Come with me if you want to live. So I had toothpicks, a green one for the big green egg, and yeah, flamethrower wins every time.
but I remember this time. 40,000 BTUs. Yes, Big Green Egg. <laughs> <laughs> Big Green Egg, Kamado Joe, Chef Maker. I gotta say, I'm impressed with the browning. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have had to like take out a cast iron skillet or something to get that, like even over flame. Yeah, that's, that's browned a, well. That's a pretty good looking steak. Yeah. Taste test. All right, I'm gonna call that a perfect medium rare steak off the big green egg. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. That's an L steak. Right. Good flavorful steak, right? Great texture. Let's just see if the Kamado Joe did any different. I'm gonna say I'm pretty good at this consistency thing. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Exactly the same, right? Equally as good. The moment of truth. I'm a little afraid. <laughs> if this is well, we'll name that this one Darth Maul. I'm not prepared for this to be better than my steak. <laughs> Come on. All right. Well, it's perfectly cooked. I mean, like compare, like Light, literally light perfect. Yeah. Right? All right. I'm not going to give my opinion because I'm biased until after you say your piece. Cheers. It's not bad. It's good. It just it's doesn't have the smoke good. flavor. So if you didn't have a grill and you weren't grilling steaks for years, right? That's steakhouse quality. That's good. I'm telling you, if I was in an apartment, like when lived in New York City, right? This would be a go-to. All right. So if it the missus fun. wanted to make you a steak, not to, like plenty of women know how to make steaks, but not your wife, right? So if she was gonna make you a steak, would you? Yeah. 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 I mean, in all fairness, that's not bad. Right. It, I'm impressed with the browning. Yeah. I mean, anybody can bake a steak. Yeah. Right? But I think the browning is the key to... All right. I am, I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah. The machine, like it did well. It's an air fryer. It's an air fryer steak. Like I would not have guessed an air fryer would be able to produce that. Right. I feel redeemed. <laughs> I got another one of these that I'm doing that Camp Chef sent me a smoker. They said their pellet grill is going to do as well as Boba the stick burner. <laughs> That's not going to go as well as this probably, uh, but that'll be out in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, check out that brisket battle that you saw those briskets. It's going to show them where it is, Mark. It's going to be right, uh, right over there. And if you've already seen that one, check this one out. I think you're going to like that too. We'll see you next time on Eat, Eat More, More Vegans. Vegans.